Hi everybody, my name is Katie and this is Katie's Musical Theater Classroom. I am so glad you're here. Today we are going to learn all about one of my very favorite musicals, both a movie and a stage musical of all time called Singing in the Rain. Let's get started. All right, everybody. Last week we learned that there are three actor tools that we have with us at all times, which is fabulous news for us because that means we have everything we need to act all the time. It's always with us. So let's recap and uh, for anybody who's new, um, we'll introduce these. So your very first actor tool is your body. Go ahead and give it a little wiggle, 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 wiggle. We use our bodies to tell stories, especially if we're dancing, which we're going to do later today. Our second actor tool is our voice. Yes. Um, of course, there are times where maybe we tell a story without our voices, and those stories can be very, very powerful. But a lot of times on stage, we want to cultivate and build a really strong voice that will carry all the way to the back of the auditorium. So we're going to warm up our voices in just a moment as well. So that was our, uh, we have our body and our voice. And last but not least, we have the most important actor tool, which is your imagination. Yes, with your imagination, anything is possible. All right, first things first, I want everybody to just kind of wiggle your bodies around a little bit. Let's shake one arm, and then we'll shake our other arm, and shake a leg, and shake your other leg. Shake your, both your arms and give me a little bouncy bounce, a little jump. Very good. Then we're going to give me three big bump, uh, three big jumps right in the air. Ready? Here we go. And a one, and a two, and a three. Very nice. All right, everybody, it's time to put those imaginations to a real test, okay? Now, as actors, we are also detectives because we use clues around us, clues in our environment to inform our characters and to tell us what to do. So today, we are going to listen to the sounds of a rainstorm. And I want you to make sure you have some space Wherever you are, if you're in your living room or if you're in your, you're in your classroom, uh, make sure you just have some space to yourself to kind of move around and be mindful of other people or furniture or cats or dogs or whatever. Um, and we're going to pretend to move through the space as we would based on the sounds that we're hearing, okay? So we're going to go from the beginning of a beautiful day all the way through a thunderstorm to uh, a bright, shiny, sunny day again. All right, here we go. All right, I hear some beautiful birds chirping. So, I am out for a stroll. I think it's beautiful out. Maybe you stretch in the sun. You can follow me, you can do your own thing, whatever works for you. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. I better try to get home before that rain gets here. So maybe we're moving quickly through the space now. Maybe we're walking really quickly to get home. Oh no! That really doesn't sound good. Oh, let me see how you feel about thunderstorms. Or maybe you love thunderstorms. Anything is possible. It's up to you. Okay. I think I hear that rain now. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. It's wet. Oh, do you feel the rain? Do you feel it dripping off of you? Oh. Maybe we should take shelter. Maybe get under, uh, like in a ditch. Yeah, if it's thunderstorming outside, you should hide in the ditch. Make yourself as small as possible. Or maybe you're loving this storm. Are you spinning in the rain? We can do that too. Spin with me for a second. Yeah! Woo! I love that. Oh, I think the rain's going away. Good thing, or too bad we didn't have an umbrella with us. That might have helped. Or maybe you did. Did you pack an umbrella and it like pops open? And you can put the umbrella up. Lovely, lovely. 
Sounds like it's still raining, but not as bad now. Good, 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 good. Maybe we take those invisible umbrellas and we start to put them down and tuck them up and wrap the little cord thingy around them. Yeah, don't need that umbrella anymore. Oh, it's a beautiful day. We're slightly damp and kind of drippy, but that's okay. Excellent, excellent. Do you see the birds? Do you see the birds over there in your imagination? Say hi, birds. Beautiful. Everybody take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Very nice. Give yourselves a round of applause. Love using those imaginations. Great job, everybody. Since we're talking all about rain uh, and weather today, I want to take a minute and talk about the water cycle, which is how water moves from the ground, from uh, rivers and lakes and streams, how it evaporates into the air and becomes um, a gas instead of a liquid, and then it eventually becomes a cloud, and then from the cloud it becomes rain and precipitates back down. All right, everybody, it's time to dance, so here we go. Let's go ahead and stand up on your feet, and I want you to imagine that you are wearing a pair of suspenders, those things that kind of hold your pants up, they like strap onto your back if you don't have a belt. They strap onto the back of your pants, come over your shoulders, and you can kind of like stretch them out like this. Boing, boing. Very good. All right, so I want you to imagine that you are wearing a pair of suspenders, and we're just gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna go, I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Good, let's do that again. So we're gonna start on this side. Here we go. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Good, very nice. Then we're gonna get really small on what a glorious feeling. I want you to get small and then Bloom like a flower on feeling, okay? So we have our suspenders first, and then we're gonna bloom like a flower. Let's try that. Here we go. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Good, and on that, I'm happy. I want you to put your arms straight up in the air and shake them. Give me a good jazz hand. We love these in musical theater all the time. Whenever anything uh, needs extra emphasis, give it a good jazz hand, okay? Let's try all that from the beginning. Very good. Here we go. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Awesome, very good. Then, we're going to do these little reaches that we did last week. So we're gonna go up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Let's practice that together a few times in a row. Five, six, seven, eight. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Very good. If you're feeling like that's maybe a step above what you want to do today, take the feet out of it. You can just go reach, 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 reach. But I think that adding the little steps, step, 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 I think that makes it more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do the little steps. Okay, we are going to do, um, uh, I'm laughing at clouds. So dark up above. So we get to do two sets of that. Okay? Let's try all of that from the beginning with our suspenders. Here we go. Five, six, seven. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Good. Reaches. I'm laughing. Clouds, so dark up above. Good. Then on this one, we're going to go, uh, we're going to take a step 
And I want, actually, let's just do the arms first. So put your arms up on a diagonal like this. Nice and strong, super, super strong arms. No dead chicken wings. I don't like dead chicken wings. I'm not super straight, super straight. Good. And you can kind of, you see how my wrist is, um, it's not straight like a blade. It's broken here. We call this a broken wrist. So we're going to go. Now switch to the other angle. Go. And switch. And switch. Again. Again. It's also way more fun if you say at the same time. Okay. We're going, so we're going to do the suns in my heart. Uh, so we're going to go the suns in my heart and I'm ready for love. Okay, we're going to come in and make a little heart here. Now, if you're feeling really fancy, we can add feet with that. So, I want everyone to take a step on your foot and tap your other foot in the front. Good. Step and tap and step and tap. Let's practice this just for a minute. You're doing great. I know you are. Even if it feels a little bit silly. Very good. Okay, now we're going to try those two things together. So your arm is going to go out as you take a step. So you're going to go step, touch. Then you're going to switch it and touch. Switch and touch and switch and touch. Let's practice that. Here we go. Step, touch, switch, touch, switch, touch, switch, touch. Very good. All right, and then at the end of that, we're going to go, I'm ready for love. That is the whole first chunk. I want to walk through it before we add the music, um, but we're almost ready to, to add that backing track behind us. So here we go from I'm Singing in the Rain with our suspenders. Five, six, seven. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. to do that dance 
at a faster tempo. A tempo is the speed of the music. So we can have something that is, we can have a song that is very slow and feels like the beats are very slow. Or we can have something quick that is like da 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 da. So this one, at this point in the song, um, our character is kind of just amazed by the rain, and it's not rushed and it's not hurried, so it's very, very gooey and slow. So he's like, I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. But later, somebody could be more excited, which means the tempo is going to be faster. So they would go, I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Both are awesome. Uh, they just give us different options about how people are feeling in music. So we'll have a chance to try it really fast later, but we'll stick with this beat for now. All right, section two, here we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna say, let the chlormy, chlormy, that's not a word, let the stormy clouds shake. Maybe chlormy could be a word. Hmm, think about what chlormy would mean to you. I think it would mean like, dirty and wormy and, I don't know, like a cloud. Anyway, here we go. So we're going, oh, I think Penny Cat is going to say hi. She didn't make an appearance in our last video, but I say, hi Penny, hi Penny. She's a musical theater cat. She likes to dance too. All right, sweetie. Here we go. We're going from let the stormy clouds chase. Those are our words. We are going to do a little gallop. A gallop is where your feet kind of chase each other like this. Chase and chase, good. Chase and chase and chase. Chase and chase and chase. Let's practice that. We're gonna gallop in a circle, okay? So your, your toes kind of like kiss each other in midair and say, get out of here, foot, go the other way, okay? Let's practice that. So as long as you have space in your room, uh, make sure you don't run into the cats or the neighbors or uh, desks or whatever is in your space, um, but we're going to gallop in a circle as best as we can. Here we go. Gallop, 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 gallop. Good, let's go the other way. Gallop and gallop and gallop and gallop. Very good. We're only going to do one of those going this direction. So we're going to go gallop and then you're going to step on your foot and step forward. This is a little tricky. Let's come back to center. So you go gallop and step, step, gallop and step, step. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what that looks like from the back, because sometimes I think it is easier to see it that way. Okay, here I go. So we're gonna go gallop, step, step, gallop, step, step. Let's do that again a little slower. Here we go. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, keep it going. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. That was a change in tempo. We don't ever have to actually do it that fast, but it's kind of fun to try. Okay, good. Now, as we're doing those gallops, I want you to imagine that you have an umbrella on your shoulder. It is expanded to cover you from the rain. You can choose what color your umbrella is. Mine is sparkly pink, I think. Yes, mine is sparkly pink. Okay, so I want you to imagine that you have that umbrella over your shoulder as we go. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. Good, we do two of those. If you feel like the gallops are a little too much for you, that's totally fine. Instead, I would like you to pretend to spin your umbrella and give me a little bounce, 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 bounce with your knees, because that's just as fun, but it keeps our, our legs a little less frantic, okay? If you want to go on the galloping adventure with me, you're more than welcome to. Let's try that. Here we go. Let the gallop step, step, Gallop, step, step. Good, excellent, let's move on. From there, you're going to take that umbrella that you've got over your shoulder, and you're going to throw it in the air. So imagine it goes flying behind you, the wind like takes it far, far away. You're gonna throw it in the air, and bring your hands by your smile, and give me a nice 
big smile because we're going to sing the word smile, okay? So let's go back to the gallops and I'll sing the words with it so you can hear how it fits. Here we go. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I've a smile on my face. Good. You can kind of give me like a little twinkle finger right here. Twinkle, twinkle. Very good. All right, guys, you're doing awesome. We're almost done with this section. Let's do that again, though, before we move on. So we're going to start with the gallops. Here we go. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come throw with the rain. I have a smile on my face. Good. Then we're going to go for a little skip down the lane because that's what uh, the, the words say. They say, I walk down the rain or I walk down the lane, but skipping is more fun than walking. So we're going to skip. If you have room to skip in a circle, let's do that. You're going to go skip. Skip, 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 skip. You get eight skips, okay? If you don't have room to make a full circle, totally chill, totally fine. Just go skip, 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 skip in place, and that'll be just fine. We're almost done, almost done. Okay, um, so we've just gone. I walk down the lane, which you have.
and we learn to dance to Singing in the Rain. Let's do it one more time. Smile and have a beautiful day. Sing. 